Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the illusion reporting from someone on Space Earth. It's lunch break on the job site. Let's see what the hologram put in my lunch today. Well, I got some of the pesto penne from last night's dinner. Wheat thins. Salami and uh, Swiss. No bread, because uh, the gluten slows me down at the job site. It took a while to figure that out. I would always figure out, why was I bonking? I get super burnt out in the whole thing. Um, and then it uh, turned out it was the gluten from the, uh, the bread, man. Don't have the gluten in your diet, man. It'll slow you down. So yeah, the, uh, things are moving along here on, on the Spaceship Earth, man. The uh, hologram went in today for some uh, baby stuff with baby Al. Apparently the heartbeat is double thumbs up and perfect and the uh, genetic testing came back with no, uh, no problems. So that's a super positive news. Still haven't gotten a picture. Apparently they do the ultrasound and the whole thing, which in my weird brain. I'm not that fired up about the concept of ultrasound, like shooting, like sound waves, right? Like to get an image, you know? I don't think the the whales dig the sonar being shot at them by the naval ships. So I was thinking about that the other day about sound waves and ultrasounds and like baby owl getting bombarded by sound waves. And I was like, I don't know if I'm cool with that, but you know, man, you gotta know when to hold them and stuff, man. I got the whole vaccines thing. I got a debate in my head about whatever nonsense that is, man. Don't be putting no mercury in my baby, right? But that's what that's what the whole gig is now, man. Is like how everything's changed. Like you start thinking about different stuff when you know you're gonna have a have a little offspring, man. It's radical. It's radical stuff radical thinking. But generally speaking, man, I'm totally like in cosmic alignment with the whole deal. Super fired up about it. And yeah, things are things are good out here on on spaceship Earth. It's cool one of the one of the viewers on the channel is a pastor from back back east, you know, ex deadhead slash pastor now and you know he sends sent me some pretty cool stuff about, you know, putting it all into God's hands and, you know, letting God run the show, man, because dude, God's perfect, right? So uh, everything's absolutely perfect as it's supposed to be. So, you know, I got to have, like, faith in the whole the whole thing, which is which is pretty radical, you know, just letting it all go. Because I got to let it go in a big way, you know, I have big, big thoughts about it. All sorts of things, but then again, I go. I just gotta. I gotta put my energy into like you know the talents out wood shop studio and you know skating and surfing and showing up and being a positive mental attitude at work and all that kind of stuff because you know that's that's the whole gig right there. Can you keep a positive mental attitude, man? Because those uh. Those thought waves like dictate the images of our perception, right? That's what we get to, uh, what our reflection is out there is the uh, thought waves we put out. So if we're putting out negative thought waves, I guess we get negative reflections back, you know? I've been thinking about it a lot, man. Just how like so few negative people are in my reality and, and only positive people surround me nowadays and it's it's just a direct correlation as I increase my positive mental attitude that the more positive people come into the dream and, and more negative people get pushed out of the dream. A lot of it's not being in a conflict, you know, in in attack mode, you know, people aren't attacking me anymore because I'm not manifesting them to attack me so yeah things are good man hopefully there's going to be a bunch of surf this weekend get in the water a little bit Martin Luther King Day on Monday 
I got a cool Martin Luther King story I think I'll tell this weekend and, and, and download it on uh, Monday, which is fitting. You know, it's one of those things, man. Martin Luther King was a heavy dude. Heavy, heavy dude. Yeah, he was, man. Got some stuff done, but I don't know. There seems to be a certain... People are deteriorating, I guess. They aren't uh, being sovereign beings and taking care of themselves and letting the buck stop with them. They're looking for someone else to explain it all to them. Yeah, we're all supposed to exchange data and stuff, but there seems to be huge, huge segments of the world population that are like, tell me what to do and tell me what to do in a negative way. Well, all the people that are kind of in a positive way are like, let's share information and, and help each other in a positive way, not ordering anyone around. Anyway, oh well, no, I thought I'd just check in here on lunchtime at the job site before I eat my food and just let you know baby owl's heartbeat is perfect <laughs> I like that right anyway this is an illusion out